Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Demon Souls, where we're going to start out this one just by doing a bit of uh, dress up souls because we want to. I, I want to try to find an, an, the ideal outfit that will give me a decent amount of protection, and will hopefully. Well, let's face it, protection doesn't really mean too much in this one. So I wanted to get something that will hopefully look kind of cool, and uh, at the same time will allow me to not wear the ring of great strength. So we're actually gonna take uh, a couple of things out of here. Probably gonna be based on the chest piece I want to have. It's probably gonna be a darker set. So let's get some, anything that kind of looks like it's a darker color. Uh, we'll also get the silver bracelets, bracelets because if we can get those, that'll be nice because they give you more souls. Let's actually also get the brushwood stuff. I mean, I'm, there's no fucking way in hell I'll be able to uh, wear it, but yeah, you try. You never know. I'm not gonna want the helmet though. In fact, it's very unlikely I'll need, I'll want, even want to put on any helmet because I want to have the silver coronet. Although, you know, you might you have a heart of gold. Intellect. I mean, we're going to be spending so little points anywhere else that I don't mind taking a couple of points out of what will eventually be going into vitality. So, obviously, that won't be this. Don't want that. Uh, put on the rogue's clothes because they look pretty badass. We'll see how it looks with. I mean, obviously, there's a rogue gloves, but let's see what the brushwood gun looks like. They look pretty cool, actually. And I can still fast roll with the brushwood gun ones. That's pretty cool. And the brushwood legs. Obviously, this is going to be too much. Definitely. Yeah. But I wonder, with the Ring of Great Strength... Probably not. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of a weird look. Because... She, she actually looks kind of muscular. Just because the shoulders kind of really uh, pop out with the... Uh, the shoulder claw thing, and then the like the forearms and the uh, and the legs look bulky just because the armor is. I kind of like it though. It looks kind of cool. Like it looks like my character will have a lot of punch behind her. Like you know, pushing something will really feels like it's really gonna have some force behind it. And you know, if she was like stomp on something, which I mean, there's only one part of the game where you actually kind of step on somebody. I don't want to spoil it, even though you guys saw it if you saw it last season, but. But yeah, looks like there would be some punch behind like uh, every step and every hit. But let's try it with something other than the gloves first. In fact, I actually kind of remember saying that I wanted to see how the silver bracelets would look. Eh, it's okay. I mean, you know, I like that the sleeves are up a little bit. It's kind of neat looking. In fact, yeah, I mean, I kind of like it. It's weird without without the bulkier gloves, it just makes her feet look even like more like bulky. Look like they have even more for because you know, in comparison, it just makes her freaking those shoes look fucking gigantic. Like it's fucking Gears of War. <laughs> uh, there's one thing I know about Gears of War: it's that everyone there looks like they have giant ass boots. I don't know. I like it. Let me see if uh, I can fast roll without the green ray train. I can. So that's pretty cool. Let me also just out of curiosity for curiosity. Yeah, for curiosity's sake, let me see what the assassin has. Like. I'll obviously still be able to fast roll because that, that okay. That looks really fucking cool. I mean, I don't have enough mana to cast second chance, but that looks really cool. It, you know, it's black. It's always the outfit, so it looks it looks right with it. It still shows the face, even the part that's covered, which. Like I mentioned before, the silver coronet, that's a plus because, you know, you customize the character's face, and now it's not hidden. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would just need to put, I would literally just need to put one more point in the intellect, which I'm fine with. Let me actually, I'm going to actually do that. Uh, legendary hero soul. Sure, this will be enough. Yeah, it should be, I think. Soul yeah. of the mind, key to life's ether. Boom! Thou thou All set. This is gonna be our new armor for a little while. We also have the extra ring slot, and uh, there's not really anything we particularly need to have there. The thief ring is always a good thing to have, so I could wear that. But I kind of want to wear the ring of avarice, so I just get more souls. Because uh, the silver bracelets uh, also give you more souls. I don't know if I mentioned that. So we'll be getting a lot of souls, which is going to be nice, because then we might actually be able to... I mean, we won't be able to get all the equipment on this playthrough. It's literally impossible. 
It is literally impossible. That's why this character is probably going to be a New Game Plus character. But, um... But, you know, we'll have the stats to get everything. I actually, Again, that's actually super easy. I really don't need to for that. But, you know, we'll get a lot of vitality. Just, you know, leveling up a lot is nice. Being able to is uh, pretty nice. So... Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, uh, I mean, we're probably not going to put many points in vitality for this particular playthrough. Because I don't want to be losing health faster than I'm gaining it. And the, uh, mag the I've said this before, but in case it's maybe you haven't seen it for a while, which wouldn't surprise me because there's like a freaking one week pause between episode five and six, I think. But the Murakumo, or not Murakumo, I'm, I'm thinking Dark Souls, I'm naming Dark Souls weapons. The Magic Sword Makoto uh, drains your health 1% of its total HP every two seconds, I think? And, yeah, every two seconds. And the regeneration ring restores four HP every one second. So, you know, I guess for every time the Magic Sword Makoto drains health, you gain eight back from the regeneration ring. And my health I don't is around 790, something like that. So I'm going to be losing. I don't know if it rounds up or if it... I don't know how the health degeneration works. If it, like, oh, actually, let me check something. Okay, i got to restart my game. Because I'm not connected online for whatever reason. It won't let me play some message. I don't know why. I feel like, oh, so I forgot to fight the old monk. Duh. Dumbass me. What am I doing over in the valley to follow That's just silly. Um. So yeah. Um. The. Ah, oh, fuck. Now what was I about to say? Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if it rounds up to the next one, or like if it's close to one, it'll round up, or even maybe if it's not, maybe if it's like 8.1, it'll round up to 9, for all I know. I'm not sure. So I don't want to pass 800 health. That way, if it does round up, you know, I'll be, uh, I'll still be safe, because I'll be gaining as much as I'm losing. Apologies for the little mishap there. I already chewed up 7 minutes. <laughs> It's probably going to be a longer episode because I don't want to fight the old monk and I'm definitely going to have time left over. Also, let me just... Yes, I can write a message now, so... We are definitely connected online. Right, so yeah, I guess reloading your character from within the game doesn't fix that. You actually have to quit to the main menu. I guess, you know, it, you know, as you saw in the main menu, it said logging into Demon's Soul server, so I guess that's how you uh, re-log in, I suppose. But I'm probably not going to fight anybody just because it's kind of rare nowadays. Like, I think the second you pass a certain point here, it automatically summons the guy. You wear black kind of, yeah, okay. Well, at least now we know, we definitely know we're online because now there's fucking messages everywhere. Maybe we'll get a blue sign and we can either gank the NPC or gank a real player. That'd be kind of funny. Eh, that might take too long. Alright. I know I actually talked about, like, I want to have this ring on because whatever, but Beer Robber Ring, super, super, super useful here because there's really annoying red phantoms. Also, oh, actually, let me take care of this guy. Oh, this guy's first. Okay, I actually don't think you normally go this far when the NPC uh, shows up, so this might actually be a player. Yeah, I can't skip the cutscene. This is a player, I think. Holy shit. We're actually going to get to fight a player. Alright, let's not die on the way up there then, because this is a fucking rare occurrence. Maybe I can go back down and maybe there'll be a sign there I can, I can summon. Alright, the thing about players is, almost every fucking time they decide to wait around the corner as you enter the fog wall and they try to get a cheap shot on you. I've never done that because I'm a fucking man and not a fucking baby. Fucking babies! Uh. But, you know, I'm pretty much expecting that. People like to try to make things as easy as possible for themselves. Which, I mean, nothing wrong with that. Get the kill by any means necessary. But it's kind of annoying because... Oh, my battery's low. Hold on, I'm gonna plug it in. Oh, God, not good. Okay. I'm kind of stretching the cable to its limits here, but hopefully that won't get in the way. Let me just turn the mic a little bit because I'm talking from a slightly different spot. I'm definitely, uh, yeah, I'm, str I'm stretching the cable to its limits here. I need to get some of it. Okay, it doesn't say anybody invaded, so why couldn't I skip that cutscene? Did they fail to invade shortly after? Oh, 
That's lame. Thought I was invaded by somebody. Every other time I've been able to skip that cutscene, I don't know why he didn't let me that time. Oh well. Shame. Well, either way, we have the Grey Robber Rewind now, so... We should be safe to... Well, not safe, but we can more safely approach the characters up here. Yeah, that guy, that white phantom you saw there, he knows what's coming in. These guys, you gotta approach them carefully. Okay, I want them to chase me a little bit, because I want to run out, be out of their sight. Because then they'll turn around, and when they turn around, I guess he didn't, he didn't go far enough away from his little spot to warrant turning around, I suppose. Okay, now we want to run away fast enough that I'm out of his line of sight, and he'll be like, where'd he go? Oh, well, and then he'll turn around to go back to his spot. And we can rush up for a backstab. At least that's how I like to handle this particular spot. Because these guys, they hit really hard. And they take a lot of hits. And I'm really botching this the attack. Anymore. But it still worked out. I missed the backstab. But fortunately this weapon is strong enough to kill them without too much hassle. Alright, we got another guy up here. Ooh. I'm right here. There we go. Chase me! Kinda wish I was able to see behind me. Okay, okay. I just got out of the sight. Okay, let's walk back. Let's see if we can get the bags out this time. There we go. Just smack him a few more times. Perfect. Done just how I like it. Yeah, the random's just waiting there, so I know it's not a player. The scumbag players like to just, just wait a mile away or around the corner. Also, using claws. No player in the right mind would use claws. He's got the insanity catalyst. Wait, what? I don't remember. Okay, I guess he has the insanity catalog. I don't ever remember the boss pulling that out. Also, I mean, we parried him with zero lag, so there's literally zero chance that this is a player. That would have been way laggy. Okay, let me just heal up. I'm trying to be fancy and parry him. I should really just be like... Hum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay, that's not good. Ooh! Freaking magics. Hit me at the worst time. He's super aggressive, though. I'll give him that. Come on, let me parry him. Oh, he's backstabbing. Fuck him! I swear that magic was all gonna hit me head on. I still had a second chance, though, so I wasn't that worried, but. You know, when I was something's gonna go to hell really quick. Still, again, kind of does my part. I'm assuming somebody was about to connect, but they failed to connect or something like that. Which, again, is a shame. Because I was hitting that start button, I wasn't able to skip the cutscene. But anyway, we will now go through the Valley of Defilement, I'm thinking. And uh, once we finish the Valley of Defilement, we can go through the rest of uh, Balteria. More like Ballerteria. <laughs> I wish they gave you longer USB cables with these uh, PS3 controllers. I'm pretty sure you can just buy longer ones, but honestly, this year just came with longer ones. Considering most people, well, not most people, but a lot of people will have these consoles in their living rooms with like their television there, and they're sitting on their couch. There's usually a lot of space between the TV and the couch. It is the living room, after all. It's not like it's in their bedroom. I mean, a lot of people do have it in their bedroom, but a lot of people also have it in their room. A lot of the, a lot of the more hardcore games will just have it in their room. But even even in my room, this controller cable has a hard time reaching me. I'm actually like holding the controller out a little bit farther than I normally would, so it's a tad uncomfortable. Not enough to really bother me, but obviously I would rather have the controller closer to my body. 
but uh, yeah. Should have given it a lot. Okay, of course, my minor complaint there is a bit late because PS4 is out, obviously. I mean, it's been out for a while now, but it just seems kind of funny to complain about anything with PS3 when PS4 is uh, now out. Because there's a uh, plague stuff, plague curing stuff over here, and I might need that, especially in this area. I mean, when I say this area, I don't specifically mean uh, like this exact map, but uh, in this in this world, this uh, swampy swampy world. Well, actually, no, I will be needed for this particular area because there's the rats, and yeah, rats like to plague everything in existence. Also, I haven't cast second chance yet, like a fool, and this guy coming up on me. Busy casting a little like a fool. Wow, there's a lot of guys out here. Well, they're all dead, so. Threat eliminated. Oh, I fell down by accident. Oh, well, that was a ring of magical dullness, so I don't really care. I never wear it. The only time I would wear it is if I was making a faith build and I was wearing the dark silver set with the dark silver shield. And I oh, wait, no, that was the ring of magical dullness. Never mind, that was probably just like some soul or some health thing or something. But, uh, yeah, the only time I ever... Oh, God, that guy's bullying me. In and out of existence. Hit it. Hit everything. Attack forever. Right, okay, let me just kill off this man. Cure our poison. And then we'll heal up. All right, let's get down here. We, we, we want to use this one because it has a wider sweep and a quick close in one hit. So. Oh, for a second, I thought he didn't die. He's got a long ass death animation, apparently. I'm always wary when I'm grabbing that item because I feel like one of these guys is going to sneak up behind me and like push me off. Did another one drop? Oh, there's one. Far away as possible. Oh, it died outright. Cool. Got the bus mace that we're probably never going to use. Because this is not a faith character. Over the bridge and through the huts. The swamp monster has to go. I'm not even going to worry about getting fight because I have everything I need to do. And did I actually just kill all of them? Without getting plagued by rushing in. That is amazing. I've never had that happen before. Ever. Won't you? Well, anyway, let's um, look at the chain set. Because I like the way the set looks, usually. It looks different on the, the guys and the gals, but... Finished all... Oh, shut up. I just gave you a bunch of souls. You can feed your fake child. Because your fake child is fake and just need sustenance. Oh god! Those boulders always get me. He's mad. So let's get over here. Into an area where he won't just immediately knock us off. Also, I think another guy was on his way. That's not good. Ooh, kill him. There we go. Alright. You dropped a morning star. That's pretty cool. Mm, eh, eh. Poke him. Poke him from as far away as possible. Be safe. Okay. Well, he still hit me, but it was for very minuscule damage. I'm trying to, like, sit in a position now where my hands can go out farther and more comfortably, but I can also lean back so I'm in range of the mic. I mean, I'm, in the I'm, I'm still going to be in range of the mic, but I want to try to be perfectly centered on it. Alright. possible. Don't want to get poisoned. That's probably going to be too close. It might have been. I mean, just, it might have just not been bad enough to poison me, though. Marrow stone. Bah. More marrow stone. More bah. Come at me, brah. 
Rush this mofo. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd be able to kill him out right before he had a swing off at me. Alright, uh, risky though. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did have second chance on it, so, you know, extra lives. Second chance is a perfect example of why Dark Souls is something that would be easy if there was an extra life system as opposed to a checkpoint system. Although I guess an extra lives would probably send you back to checkpoint. So I guess fucking don't listen to me. But I mean, I, I think you understand what I mean though. Dark Souls would be very easy if there was like some kind of fairy in a bottle system. Like, you know, like a uh, like or whatever. Because I mean, this basically is it, except. Except when you lose a fairy, you can just take an item and get another one. Okay, so this might be a bit of a pain. Not too much. Okay, never, never mind. Looks like we're just gonna completely poop on this guy. I don't even think I'll even need to heal, even though I'm like losing health quite a bit more. Leeches, but oh, he's trying to heal. Oh, good thing my weapon is so freaking OP for you. You're dead. Good while you are healing. You're dead. God, with all these leeches, I uh, imagine I was playing the Yog. Hashtag leeches. Hashtag 360 no scope 420 blaze at leeches. Wait, was there? Oh, no, I was touched with it. Let's see, let's see this guy get murdered. I said, let's see this. There we go. Oh, I'm fighting him. Urgh, I'm fighting him. Urgh. Oh, I'm dead. I don't think he was using a buckler. That would explain why he got killed. Alright, so we got souls to spend, we got items to drop off, I think. Yeah, yeah, we got items. We definitely have items to drop off. And then we'll repair, and then we'll end this one. Then we got, uh... The next episode, we should be getting past the next area, and the area after that. And then we'll just have Boletaria left, and we'll be all set. And I want to I wanna get the rest of this particular season done, like, today. Just because, you know, I want to have them all on YouTube and stuff like that, and all ready to go before the year's be over, which obviously that that would be hard to not make that deadline, because uh, deadline, so still got like 20 days, and there's only going to be like, what, like, like six more episodes in total? I mean, six more since I'm recording this, not since this particular episode. But, uh, oh, god dang, I knocked over something. I don't know if you heard that, because it was on the other side of the mic. Uh, anyway, uh, so... Let's see, what do I want I guess I'll get more endurance. More endurance! I really need to look up the stats for the other thing though, so I can start investing into that before I get into new Out thou done? Oops, didn't want to hit that. Good thing I wasn't facing somebody. Yeah, okay, so that. Yes, yes, repair my stuff. Also, before I finish the game, I want to try to get all the code Demon Souls that I can. I won't be able to get the ones from having pure black wolf tendency, but I'll be able to do come I back alive. Able... I mean Let's start by murdering this man. What are you doing? Even I will not just sit back and take it. I also forgot the one second chance. Probably would have been a good idea before fighting this man, but oh well. Suck it. I don't know if I get darker character tendency for doing that, but uh I would hope so. Right, okay, uh see so, yeah, I talked to him. Did I drop my stuff off? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Drop those off. Bless me, my starter. Don't need a second one of those. Well, we will actually need the second one later. Also, uh, let's try on the chainmail stuff really quick. First things first, let me just make sure how many doubles. I might have had someone just pass by because I wasn't really paying attention at all. You have a. Okay, now actually, I know for a fact that the, the chain pants actually looks pretty good with this outfit. Because I haven't used it before. Yeah. Pretty nice. And my stamina should regenerate faster because the the brushwood stuff is like literally makes your stamina regenerate like the slowest, so I might just stick with this. Uh what's the chain helmet look like with this armor? Eh. 
Looks okay, but I'd rather have the assassin mask on. I could probably get rid of these for the chainmail gloves. I could, and they don't look that bad. But I, I would prefer darker looking gloves, so. We'll switch back. Also, you know, the extra souls is, uh, is nice. Anyway, let's deposit the armor that we're not wearing. I should, I should, let, uh, let me take the chain suit back out, actually. We're gonna see what that chest piece looks like, because I don't recall, like, I know I've worn it, for sure. You have a hard female character, but it's been so long that I, I normally get, I normally wear the full chain mail set with a, with a male character, just because the set itself looks pretty good. Alright, so, that actually doesn't look half bad. It looks like, you know, like a traveler type thing. I mean, it's basically the same armor that this lady over here wears. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Uh, hmm, tricky decision. I'm gonna stick with the rogue outfit. I mean, it's significantly lighter, even though I can still fast roll. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so that'll do it for this episode. Sorry for the extra long, well, not extra long, but the somewhat longer than usual item management at the end there, because obviously I want action. More and more action each time. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one, where we're going to be doing the last two areas of the Swamplands, and, uh, and then we'll be... All set to take on the rest of uh, Boletaria. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Actually, I guess Boletaria might be all these lands combined, but whatever. All the same, I'll see you guys in the next episode.